everybody. It's Bourbonville, and tonight, homie, very special episode. We're bringing you breaking news. What the heaven hill is going on around here? Heaven Hill has dropped some news, okay? And I think you need to be aware of it. Now, this, this is, of course, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, A124, the first release of 2024. You know, the, the somewhat disappointing 10-year, 9-month age statement at 119 proof. But is it good? Thanks again, Ralph. A.K.A. the Professor for these clear Glen Cairns. I don't have to drink out of the bottle now. Yes, this bottle was good. I'm not going to do a review on this. You can, I'll link it above. I've already done a review of this one. On its own, it's delicious. Compared to some hitters like C923, it's not. Oaky, brown sugar, caramel. Mm-mm-mm. So, first up in What the Heaven Hill is Going On news... Elijah Craig B524, it's not quite out yet, we're filming this in April, hasn't been quite released label-wise that I know of, but the rumor is she's a 121 proof, compute, compute, 60.5% alcohol by volume, and she's coming in at 12 years old. Is that true? We don't know. No news on C924, but that's what B is supposed to be. So just a little bit, still lower in proof, you know, if, if it turns out to be true, still lower in proof, but back up in that 12 year age range that we like to see. Hopefully still $75 hairs a bottle, roughly MSRP. Now the bigger news. I no longer have a bottle because I hated it. Okay. Elijah Craig toasted. They're now doing a rye. Okay. So there's Elijah Craig toasted bourbon out there available. 94 proof, you know, kind of low proof. It was watery. It was thin. The bourbon just kind of hated it. Okay. Also, now, it was I was new in my bourbon journey. I didn't like regular Elijah Craig. The old 94 small batch Elijah Craig. Didn't like it. I might like it today. Always like the barrel proof, though. But I tried the, the regular 94 earlier in my, my bourbon journey. Might not have been ready for it, you know. Might have been too oaky for me back then, even a 94 proof. But I didn't love it and never bought another bottle again because these are so delicious. And I don't, I don't need a lower proof version of this deliciousness right here. So anyway, if that interests you, I'm not, I'm never a buyer of the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel Bourbon. Uh, specifically the bourbon, I'll put a, put a picture up. Uh, I've disliked it. I've done a review on it, I think. Or maybe I didn't, but I, I've had a bottle and it was pretty bad. I just... It wasn't as good as Woodford Double Oak right here. And certainly wasn't as good as Old Forester 1910. So I said, what the heck? I ain't drinking this crap. But they are now doing an Elijah Craig Toasted Rye. 94 proof. So if you're a fan of the Toasted, or even if you're not, the Rye could be better. So I might have to give that Rye a try. Now, the biggest news, though, of all is, at least in single barrel form, Elijah Craig is doing a barrel-proof toasted bourbon. That's right. A barrel-proof toasted bourbon. Lock the hell out. There's a label, and I'll put it up on the screen for you to see it. It's a private barrel. So as I said, this this might be just a single barrel. Not sure this is going to be a batch release or not, but stores may be able to pick these. This one happens to be Elkhorn Creek Liquors. Never heard of them. No idea where that's at. It is a nine-year-old barrel-proof toasted barrel bourbon. 134.2 proof. Compute, compute, 67.1%. So nine years old. Okay, you know, it's younger than, than 10 or the 12 that we're used to. But it's toasted, and it's 134 proof. So that'll be kind of exciting. So, again, I didn't like regular Elijah Craig, but I like Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Didn't like regular Elijah Craig Toasted Bourbon. Maybe I'll love the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof Toasted Bourbon. 
So I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for those. Uh, if, they're, if they're picks only, whatever, I'll be on the lookout for them. Uh, might try their toasted rye. You know, I might try that. I think rye takes finishing better. Although I'm a fan of double oaks, not toasting, to be fair. Uh, toasted bourbons and ryes just don't do it for me. I'm, I'm a double oak guy, but not necessarily a toasted guy. Um, so I don't know. I'm kind of 50-50 on that toasted rye. But the barrel-proof toasted bourbon, I think I'm going to be a player on, depending on the price. You know, these, these private select single barrels are like 80, 90, which to me is crazy when the batches are 70 475 and are usually better sometimes better not always but you know sometimes so that that's tough to swallow the price now i'm not sure what they're going to charge for these uh toasted rye or the toasted barrel proof bourbon not sure but thought i should share that breaking news with you because that's pretty exciting now i wish eliza craig would come out with like a toasted barrel proof rye and I'm sure, you know, I'm sure they're not that dumb that they didn't think of that. So maybe that's next year. Maybe that's 2025. You heard it first here on Bourbon Bill. You know, maybe, maybe they'll do a barrel-proof double oak. Now that would be something to be seen. Um, I've actually never tried Elijah Craig's straight ride, just like the 94 or whatever proof straight ride. Never tried that, so don't know if I like it or don't. Um, so the toasted ride could be interesting, but, well, heck. If it's the same price as the bourbon, around 50 doll hairs, I'm a buyer. It's 50 bucks. We'll give it a shot. So hopefully this quick news segment was right up your alley on what the heaven hell is going on. So if you like what you saw, hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. And we'll see you next time. Just kidding. I wouldn't leave you quite there. Big shout out to Brantley Hamby for this sample. Thank you, sir. Brother has been a long time supporter of the channel. It's an Elijah Craig Barrel Proof single barrel pick, but has Matt at 140.7. Been savoring this puppy for years, but I thought it's fitting when we're doing a Heaven Hill themed video to give this little single barrel a shot. Good fucking lord, that's delicious. Oh, just the deepest, richest caramel. Gosh. Reminds me of like Coy Hill from Jack Daniels, you know? It's got like a, like a barrel char going on to it. Oh, oh it's so good. Apparently, if you remember, how, uh, how old was that one? I'm guessing nine. Doesn't quite feel ten, but wow. What a level of, like... Toffee caramel barrel char on this one. The heat's there, not overwhelming, but it does make the finish absolutely superb. So now with that, we will leave you for tonight. Have a good evening, everybody.